Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve three very interesting problems based on charge density. In my last video, I have solved three questions. In this video also, I will be solving three questions. Before I start with solution, I want you to try those questions first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. This is question number four. Freeze the video, try it by your own. This is question number five. And this is question number six. I hope you might have tried those questions. Now I'll start with solution of question number four. See in question four, a thick spherical shell centered at the origin extends between radius of two centimeter and three centimeter. So here we have thick spherical shell where it is extended in between radius of two centimeter and 3 centimeter. If the volume charge density rho v is 3r into 10 to the power minus 4 coulomb per meter cube. So in this shell rho v is given that is 3r into 10 to the power minus 4 coulomb per meter cube. Find the total charge contained in the shell. So in this shell we need to find total charge. So here we need to do volume integration of rho v and here what is given you see here we have spherical coordinate system that is given to us. So in spherical coordinate system first of all you should know the range of coordinates. See here radius range that is given here r that belongs to 2 centimeter to 3 centimeter right here in spherical coordinates theta that ranges from 0 to pi and phi that ranges from 0 to 2 pi. These ranges are there. Right. Now let me explain you how to have volume integration. See, total charge that is volume integration of rho v dv. Now volume integration means triple integration that one should know. And what is rho v? Rho v is 3r into 10 to the power minus 4. And what is dv? That is r square sin theta d theta d phi and dr. Right. One should know in spherical coordinates this volume integral that is r square sin theta d theta d phi dr. Right. So here we need to understand this. See in triple integration theta that is ranging from 0 to pi pi that is ranging from 0 to 2 pi and this radius r that is ranging from 2 to 3 centimeter and this is there in terms of centimeter remember this right means 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 and 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 that we need to place that I'll place at the end when we substitute the values right now see here in multiplication everything is independent right so 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 that is constant take it outside and direct integration is possible. See r into r square means r cube integration that we need to do. So that is r is to 4 by 4. Limit is there from 2 to 3 centimeter. Means 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 and 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. This is there in terms of centimeter. I need to place that in terms of SI. So this will be into 10 to the power minus 2 that we need to do. Right. Sin theta integration that is minus cos theta limit is there from 0 to pi and nothing is there in terms of phi. So one integration is phi limit is there from 0 to 2 pi. Right. Now just place the limits. So here we have 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 into C. 3 raised to 4 that is 81 minus 2 raised to 4 that is 16 so 81 minus 16 that is 65 divided by 4 and 10 to the power minus 2 raised to 4 that is 10 to the power minus 8 right cos of pi that is minus 1 minus minus plus 1 cos 0 so minus minus 1 so it will be 1 plus 1 that is 2 and here this will be 2 pi 
Just solve this much in calculator, you will be getting answer. Let me check my answer. That is 0 0.612 nano coulomb. Means 0 0.612 into 10 to the power minus 9. Right. Now, let me solve question number 5. So, this is quite interesting. Here, there are a few very interesting facts that you need to understand. Right. So, just carefully see this problem. The volume charge density rho V. That is rho naught into e to the power mode of minus x minus mode of minus y minus mode of minus z. Coulomb per meter cube that is existing over the free space. Calculate the total charge present. Now if you carefully observe here rho v that is given in Cartesian coordinates. And for free space it is given. What is the meaning of free space? Free space means this x, y and z that is ranging from minus infinite to plus infinite but obviously total charge that is volume integration of rho v but in Cartesian coordinate variables are x y and z where x ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite y ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite and z is also ranging from minus infinite to plus infinite so simply total charge is volume integration of rho v Right. Volume integration means triple integration. Rho V that is rho naught into e to the power minus mode of x minus mode of y minus mode of z dx dy dz where x ranges from minus infinite to infinite, y ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite and z is also ranging from minus infinite to plus infinite. If you separately integrate this minus infinite to plus infinite then see here we have rho naught e to the power minus x dx is there then here we have minus infinite to plus infinite e to the power minus y dy and minus infinite to plus infinite e to the power minus z dz right that is how it is there. Now here there are few basics that you need to understand. Mode of Z means what? Mode of Z means here whatever range is there from 0 to infinite and 0 to minus infinite. So both values will be having positive impact. What it means? It means if you convert this limit from 0 to infinite then this total integration that is twice. Right. Let me explain you how. See this rho naught that is constant take it outside. Now instead of minus infinite to plus infinite, 0 to infinite that I need to do, e to the power minus x that I need to write. Right. So I need to multiply 2 over here. Similarly, I need to multiply 2 with y. Right. Similarly, I need to multiply 2 with z as well. So this is what you need to take care of. The reason is, from 0 to infinite and from 0 to minus infinite values are same. It is repeated twice. So instead of this range, I need to write 0 to infinite and multiply 2. The reason is if you place minus infinite and plus infinite, then you don't get values. That's why. Now just to integration. So see here we have 2 into 2 into 2, 8 rho naught. Now the integration of e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x by minus 1. Limit is from 0 to infinite. Similarly, e to the power minus y by minus 1, 0 to infinite. e to the power minus z by minus 1, 0 to infinite. And if you place the limits, then see with infinite it is 1 by infinite 0. And with 0, it is minus minus plus 1. So 1 into 1 into 1. So this will be. 8 rho naught only right so that is how one can simply solve this type of questions now let me solve last interesting problem see here also we have volume charge right we need to find total charge q and if you observe spherical volume that is given so as and when you want spherical volume calculation so total charge that is integration the rho v dv that we have Volume integration means triple integration, rho v. So here, see radius, that should be there from 0 to a only, right. 
0 to a only. Otherwise, we don't have values that is given over here. So, what I'll do is, like I'll be considering this rho v only, that is rho v naught into 1 minus r square by a square, that is rho v. Now, what is dv? See, we have spherical volume. For spherical volume, we have r square sin theta, d theta, d phi, and dr. Right. What is theta? For spherical volume, theta is there from 0 to pi. Let me note down those things. See, this, these are the basics that one should know. For spherical coordinates, theta that is there from 0 to pi and pi that is there from 0 to 2 pi. Right. And radius r that is there from 0 to a that is given over here. Now, let me note down those ranges. So, theta that is there from 0 to pi, pi that is there from 0 to 2 pi and r that is there from 0 to a. Now, in multiplication, separate integration is possible, right? So, here rho v naught that is constant, take it outside. Here, sin theta integration is minus cos theta, 0 to pi that is the limit. Pi is not there over here. So, one integration is pi. Limit is there from 0 to 2 pi. And if you multiply r square over here, then r square minus r is to 4 by a square. So, r square is r cube by 3 and r is to 4 that is r is to pi by phi a square. Limit is there from 0 to a. Right. Now, simply we need to substitute the limits right so here rho v naught that is there with us minus cos phi that is plus 1 minus minus plus 0 that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 this is 2 pi and here see we will be having only a possible over here right so a cube by 3 minus a raised to phi by phi a square. So, a cube that is getting common and you can take it outside. Right. So, a cube that I am taking outside from here. This is 4 pi. And this is 1 by 3 minus 1 by phi. That is 2 by 15. Now, see this is how much? That is 8 pi by 15. This is 8 pi by 15 a cube rho v naught that is total charge over here right that is how we can solve this type of questions thank you so much for watching this video